Hi guys, so I just want to do a video on modeling in Dubai, which is the um, the new Ferris wheel in Dubai, is the biggest Ferris wheel in the world. Now I had an IA on this in the past and it was one of the best IAs I've ever seen, it was brilliant. Um, essentially she, she kind of modeled the height of one of the pods, say, of this Ferris wheel over time and she found out at which times she would be able to see over these buildings. So that's why I've kind of put, um, I've put a photo here because after a certain amount of time, uh, after a certain amount of time, it's over the buildings and she's able to see the sunset. I actually think it's these buildings. She she found the, she found the times at which it was over these buildings because she was able to see the sunset, um, from here. And that's why I've actually included a map because it's there and she wanted to see over these buildings. But you could also do it over these ones as well. And I've even seen, I think in one of the comments or in the comments section of one of my YouTube videos, someone asked about doing a, something similar, but but in the using the London eye and then being able to see the particular points of interest at what times you could see, like, I don't know, say Big Ben or whatever, her own house in London. So there's lots of lots of ways you can kind of kind of kind of make this original, but it's a really really nice I, IA, and um, lots of good maths uh, involved, and um, yeah, plenty of opportunity to kind of make it make it your own. So before I get, begin, guys, as always, if you if you like the video um, and you like the content, please like and subscribe. That helps me a lot. It helps me grow the channel. And please check out my website in the link below for lots more videos. Okay, so this is the situation. We have um, Ain Dubai, this big Ferris wheel, and I've got this data from somewhere now. I just Google it quickly. I think it's fairly accurate, but obviously when you're doing your IA, or if, if you're doing an IA on this or on anything at all, you go to a lot more detail than I do. You go and do the research, find a, find a reliable source for all this information. So once you have the diameter, the period is the amount of time it takes to do one full cycle. So it's it's quite a, obviously a long, that is a long uh, Ferris wheel ride, 48 minutes. And the d diameter of the wheel is 250 meters. And the initial height is five meters. That just means it's five meters off the ground when it starts. Okay, so I'm going to go to Desmos. Desmos is my kind of favorite kind of quick graphing calculator. Now I'm gonna do this quickly, guys. Uh, this is not a lesson on um, sinusoidal modeling, but um, obviously I'm going to show you how we can create a model from from that information we know. If you don't understand what I'm doing here, obviously you need to go and and do a proper lesson on this. I have videos on this this uh, sinusoidal modeling as well. But let's say we start off with sine x. So here's our model. Now I've started with sine because sine starts at the bottom and goes up. So our Ferris wheel, we're going to start at the bottom and we're going to go up. You can you can use cos, and I'll actually show you how to do the cosine function one as well, and get the exact same model. But let's start with sine. So this obviously is not the right model at all. This is so the x axis is going to be time, the y axis is going to be height. Now, how high is this first wheel going to go? Well, the maximum height is going to be 250 plus the 5, remember? So I'll get to the 5 in a second, but let's say that the Ferris wheel is so the maximum height is, is 250 and the minimum height is let's say 0. So that's what the diameter is 250. So in my in my model, I'm going to put not 250, but 125. Because and if I zoom way out here, you can actually see it's going up to 125 and down to minus 125. That's because remember how sinusoidal functions work and ver um, vertical stretches or tra transforming it using this 125, it's going to stretch it vertically. So it's going to be 125 up and 125 down, but that gives me the 250 uh, total. So the max, the difference between the max height and the min height is 250. 
Now it's going up, down, up, down very, very quickly here, obviously, because my period is all wrong. So how do I find the, well, I know the period is 48 minutes. So if you remember two pi, the formula two pi over b is equal to the period, well, I can do two pi over 48. So I'll do two pi over 48, which is obviously pi over 24 as well. That gives me the period that I'm looking for. So here I have now one full cycle after um, 48 minutes. Now I can change this guys. I, I don't I don't want to see too many cycles there. So let's just change it from well let's go from minus um, minus 50 to sorry that's not what I wanted to do. This is the y-axis. So sorry, let's go, let's put that back to minus 200. So from the x-axis, let's say minus 50 to, let's say 300, let's say 200. Okay, so that's a bit better. Now guys, you can, and you should, walk the reader, if you're doing this, like you walk the reader through all these different steps. You can put in, get screenshots of the graph and explain what you're doing. The explanations of the transformations really, really is going to help you show understanding um, of the modeling and overall what you're going to do. Now, what's the situation here? So we're starting here, but look, this is the ground here. The y-axis is the height. He's going underground. So we got to lift this guy up. So let's bring him up. Um, how much are we going to bring him up? Well, this is 125. So if we bring him up 125, better. Now he's starting. Well, the minimum height is the ground. But remember, we want him. The minimum height is actually five meters. So I have to add on another five. So I'm going to actually make that 130. And now the minimum height is five. We have a little problem, though. He's starting. This is when time is zero. When time is zero, he's starting at 130. That's like halfway up the first wheel. So that's wrong. That's a problem. So we need to move him. Well, what's this? This is negative 12. So we need to move him right 12 minutes. How do I do that? Well, again, guys, hopefully you know this. I'm going to do f of x minus 12. So I'll do minus 12 here. And that moves it to the right. Perfect. So now I'm starting at five meters. Yeah, that's correct because he starts at five. We go up to a maximum height of 255, which is correct because it's the five meters plus the diameter. And then we go down to five meters at 48 minutes, which is what I want because that's you're back to the start at 48 minutes because the, the, the Ferris wheel ride takes 48 minutes. Perfect. There we go. Um, that's the model created. Again, guys, change this if you want to make nicer screenshots, or maybe instead of actually, let's make that uh, 100. Maybe perhaps that's nicer. You can change the color. You can um, label the axes here. In fact, you definitely should label the axes, guys. X axis is time in minutes. And the Y axis is height in meters. Okay, and then you can get a nice screenshot of that. I think you can just export it here actually or share the graph and you can add that into your IA. How do I make this a cosine function? Well, similar kind of thing. We're going to have 125 cos. By the way, guys, that's pi over 24 it would be easier than 2 pi over 48. So it's pi over 24. Let's do x. Um, and then we'll do plus 130. So this is actually, it's almost the same, but here we're starting at the top, which, which makes sense because it's a cosine function. So if I just make that minus, it's actually the exact same. So this and this are the exact same function. And you can actually, you can talk about both of these for sure. Talk about which one you prefer to use, but essentially they're the same thing. So let's say we choose, um, this one. So our, what is it, 125. So let's say here, I can say my, my height, h, or h of t, let's say, h of t is equal to um, 125. 
sine of um, what was it pi over 24 pi over 24 x minus 12 plus 130 now perhaps you could say well actually I'd prefer to um, you might say actually this is a nicer this isn't it's a that's a neater equation so you might actually prefer to use that one it's up to you um, so here I have my model and sorry guys I put a I put X here although I call that T so let's stick with T for time now you can do whatever you want with that what this girl did that I, the girl I'm talking about who, whose IA this was originally she said right well let's solve the equation where does this equal so where does this equal 125 sine pi over 24 times t minus 12 plus 130 where does this equal the height of these buildings and let's just say the height was um i don't know for argument's sake let's say 80 meters so the height of this building or maybe this building or whatever building she wants to see over by solving this equation she can find the times at which it is above the the buildings and then hence find well i think she even calculated exactly what time she should get on the ferris wheel to be sure she sees the sunset so it was really kind of really nice perfect perfect day um and anyway i could i let me just show you how to do it with with desmos i, I think for um for an analysis you want to actually show that um sorry what am i doing you actually want to show the uh the working the working out you can show it analytically but you can certainly show it with the graph here so it's at if it was 80 meters anywhere between 8.85 minutes and 39.144 minutes you would be above that building and hence able to see the sunset or whatever it happens to be that you want to see okay and that's it obviously guys you can put your own put your own spin on things um or put, sorry put your own spin on it but uh, as i said really really nice ia you could certainly well another really good idea that one of my students had um and she never actually did this this topic but it was something similar sinusoidal functions she used um oh yeah she wanted to to find what would be the best time to build a sandcastle so that the tide would come in at the right time and kind of fill the moat of the sandcastle so she needed enough time to build it but she also wanted the tide to come in and kind of destroy the sandcastle because that's what that's what's supposed to happen you don't want to build a sandcastle as the tide's going out so that's kind of a waste so i thought that was a really really nice idea as well and certainly any look there's lots of places you can you can use sinusoidal functions even the the time of day um, global warming things like that um finally i'll just say what so w which course is this appropriate for well um analysis standard level would be kind of the definite one for sure you could you, you could do it in application standard level as well um the only thing i'd say is i've obviously i'm using radians here in um applications you you made it you, well you should use degrees because there is no radians in your course but it's basically the same concept but that might have seemed seemed confusing for some of you because i've been using radians if you want to use degrees you just simply change it here into um change it here into degrees now obviously you have to work out the these things um separately or you work, work them out differently i'll just keep it in radians for the time being and uh, yeah for sure you could there's no reason why you can't do it for a higher level IA as well yeah you could probably add in some some extension but as I'm always saying remember guys a great standard level IA is a great higher level IA as well it's just probably gonna lose um, two marks in criterion E for the use of mathematics Okay, that's the video, guys. Hope that was helpful to, to somebody. As I said, one of my all-time favorite IAs was on this. Um, uh, feel free to ask questions below in the comments, and I'll try and answer what I can. Okay, all the best.